Workout Wednesday time. We're back here at Pike and Roll Sport and Health with McKenna Smith, personal trainer. Uh, now, earlier, last hour, we worked on uh, the, the, the band thing with the march. What's that called, last hour? Okay, so the band thing with the, <laughs> with the march. So it's just for the scapular retraction. So when I say scapula, That's what I, I That's mean what I shoulder blades. Okay, so <laughs> now we're going to show the harder version. Some people actually might think the other one's the harder version, but this is definitely going to be harder because now we're adding in external weight. Before it was just a resistance band, but now you're literally going to be holding 26 pounds in each hand. Okay? And remember, the whole point of this, again, is to pin this. This is like a triple whammy. Pinning here, tightening here, so you're going to get as tall as you can. Imagine someone's pulling a string out of your head and pulling you upright, and then you're going to tighten your core, and you're going to lock out this leg so you feel your butt cheek squeeze, okay? So now everything's rock solid. Then you're going to switch. So once again, everything in the central nervous system is sending a signal to say, okay, muscles, let's all fire together so we can accomplish this task and keep Larry upright. So far, so good. And you're so focused that you sometimes forget to breathe. So think like, okay, I'm gonna take a breath, then I'm gonna go. But you're super solid. This is really awesome. And the whole time this is pinned together, see, that looks great. Neck is in neutral, you're not staring down, the floor is not going anywhere. And for this, maybe eight to 10 one direction, you put them down, shake your arms out, eight to 10 back, because okay. they get heavy. So you see how it's different than the band one where yeah. you stood up like this and pulled? But everything here is tightening, just like everything we've been doing for those mobility drills. I think this is harder, more effective, because with the weight, you don't want to tip over and fall over on one foot. So Exactly. Yeah. So it really gives you some yeah. means to think, okay, I need to do this properly. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're not going to come back up. Yeah. But it's very, and some people do this barefoot to really get the proprioception oh. and get a better like feeling of what it should feel like. Some people do it in shoes. Not everyone wants to take their shoes off, you know? That's expert level. I'm not there yet. So and you're there the next day to help get us out of bed? Yes, <laughs> of course. That's part of my job. Day one, right. <laughs> kill you. Day two, <laughs> bring you back to life. Okay. She's McKenna here at uh, Pike and Real Sport and Health, and that's Workout Wednesday. More Good Morning Washington coming up next.